Starting the great name of Allah, the most beneficent and have a merciful. Today is our first video, and in this video, I wanted to start with the course of Great Eleven. So, according to the course of Great Eleven, this is chapter number two of this book, right? So now the question arises that why I have started chapter number two at first? Because in chapter number one, we go through different cell organelles. And in that organelles, we study about the compositions. So in compositions, we study about different biological molecules, and then you people will know, will don't know about those very biological molecules. So first of all, I decided to just start chapter number two so that you people should aware of that very biological molecules. In this video, you people will only came to know what are biological molecules. This is introductory passage, right? So in this introduction, I'll just talk about the introduction of biological molecules, not uh, about the biological molecules specifically. So what are biological molecules? In great this book, in chapter number two, the chapter is biological molecules, and in biological molecules, we will specifically study about water, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and DNA. Now these three, these five combine together and collectively form the whole life. Now, how the whole life? Because water is very beneficial for life and without water, life is impossible. Because as for the life, unit cell is very important. And that unit cell contains 90% of water in its cytoplasm and 85% of water in its nuclear, nucleus. So without this water, that unit of life, that cell is impossible and without that cell, life is impossible. So for the existence of life, water is very important. Similarly, same is the case with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide us nucleotide, which formula is C5H10O5. Without this nucleotide, we are unable to form DNA. That is, and that DNA is responsible for the expression of our whole characters. So when DNA will not be there, how we will define, how we will present different characters. Now come towards proteins. These proteins are very important and has a primary importance in our life. Now how? Because in our body, different antibodies are made up of proteins, different enzymes are made up of proteins. Similarly, hemoglobin, which is responsible for the carrier of oxygen. That is also made up of proteins, iris, present in eye, human eye, that is also made up of proteins, nails, hair, feathers of birds, these all are made up of proteins. Now, then we came across lipids. What are lipids? Lipids are very important and they have a great importance in human life because the two major hormones, testosterone and estrogen, Testosterone and estrogen, without these two hormones, males and females are not, in, uh, are not uh, possible. And when male or female will not be possible, so how the life will be going on, how the generation will be increased. So, testosterone hormone is responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics of the male and estrogen hormone is responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics of the female. Without these two hormones, life is impossible. Similarly, without lipids, life is impossible. Now we come across DNA. What is DNA? D-oxyribonucleic acid. And these DNA provide us genetic codes. Now, these, what are the function of genetic codes? Genetic codes are responsible for different functions and each function in our body responsible is connected with a specific genetic code. Each and every genetic code is responsible for a specific function. Without these genetic codes, life is impossible. So these all collectively form whole life and without these five major biological molecules, life is impossible. That's why these five collectively known as fundamental molecules, similarly they can also known as unity of life. But one thing you people have to remember that carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and DNA, these are fundamental, but the water is not very fundamental. Now the question arises that why water is not fundamental. There are three major reasons. Three major reasons are there because of which water is not fundamental. And those reasons are, number one, that in our body, none of the part is purely made up of water. Because 
in every part, if the water is present in that water, some solutions are there, some salts are there, some sugars are there, some electrolytes are there. So water is not purely present, that's why water is, cannot be called fundamental. Similarly, water has no unit, like carbohydrate has a unit. Protein has a unit, which is amino acid. Lipids have a unit, fatty acid and glycerol. Now, but water has no unit. That's why water cannot be called fundamental molecule. And other these other four are known as fundamental molecules. This was all about biological molecules and the importance of biological molecules. In, in our next videos, I'll discuss all these five fundamental molecules in great detail. Inshallah and I need your help your like comment and please don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much